Hey everybody, the Super Vader 400 here, back for another retro review, and this time this is my webcam review of the um Toxic Toxic Avenger film. I did a narration type review of this film just a couple of days ago, j just yesterday, but I decided to do I decided to redo this whole franchise with the webcam, and I'm gonna start off with the very first film, the Toxic Avenger, which was released. In 1984, it was directed by um, Lloyd Kaufman. Lloyd Kaufman, I keep forgetting the other guy's name. And it was released by an independent studio called Trauma, who's released, who've done a lot of independent, low-budget, um, cheesy, cheesy horror-type um, movies. This movie was released in 1984. Um, it was released to little fanfare. It didn't, didn't get much attention. But then it became hugely popular on, um, it later became hugely popular and became a cult, cult-like film and spawned a franchise, which included three more films, a cartoon series, and, a, um, and, um, a com comic books and even a video game, and even a, a video game. This is, um, the very, very first film. The Toxic Avenger film is about a nerdy kid named Melvin Junko who is the school's janitor. He is harassed by he is harassed by bullies. He is harassed by bullies constantly every day. On one certain day, one of the um females, I keep forgetting her name, but one of the females wants to um plays a horrible prank on him by having him dress by having him dress up in a pink tutu. And telling him to meet her in a dark room where they can make out, and she um instead of he and she they she leads him into a dark room and turns on the lights. When she turns on the lights, he is making out with an animal, and everybody is laughing at him, making out an animal, making out with an animal while wearing a pink tutu. Um, he tries to get away, but they fight him. They he tries to get away, leaving in shame and embarrassment. But they fight him and um and, and they throw him into a um toxic pit and half of his tutu is burned and his skin colors change. Later on that um day in his room he mutates into the giant he mutates into a giant deformed monster of super human speed and strength, as they say in the films and cartoons. And um he transforms into a giant, grotesque, grotesque monster of super human speed and strength strength that sounds much better that's a much better description of the character and then he um then he goes around um killing killing criminals who harass innocent people while also getting even with the people who wronged him in the um first place so pretty much this character is pretty much like what I like to call an anti-hero. He kills criminal he kills criminals in violent and gory fashions. Gory fashions and helps the citizens of Traumaville, the fictional setting of this movie, but also kills and beats up the people who wronged him, who um wronged them. And this film is promoted as a horror film, but this film for me is more of an action film. Nothing is really scary about the film except for the violent depths, the way he kills people. But um this was an awesome film. The Melvin character was relatable and I just love the whole story. The whole story is um the whole story was awesome and unique and original. And um um this reminds me of things I've been a huge fan of, like Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and X Men, and it also um and uh, all another thing about this film is that the characters in this film this film is rated R and violent. Like I said, the death scenes are violent and um hard to watch, hard to watch, especially the end where he fights the corrupt mayor, where he confronts the com 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 the confronts the mayor and rips out his um rips out his gut during the um film continue with the story he meets a woman named um he meets a woman named sarah who is blind so she's pretty much the only one person who's not afraid of him after killing an old lady he decides that he's gone too far and um and him her, him and him and sarah come up with a plan to um go somewhere go somewhere special where where no one can bother him so he can't kill anyone. They go into a tent. The mayor, who I mentioned earlier, the corrupt mayor of Tromaville City, 
elects to kill him instead of bringing him in for questioning and he brings an entire military and police force to do it he has the military aim at what's his name but the the citizens of um Trollville try to defend the monster try to defend the monster and then he decides to try to take them out try to take them out the monster comes down and like i said confronts him and rips out his spleen and the movie ends there the characters in this film are totally over the um top the bullies like the angry video game nerd who who was the person who brought me to this um movie i discovered this um franchise with the cartoon series on hulu but um the kids are the the characters the kid the the people are over the top the bullies they they the bullies and criminals their punishments are very are their their punishments and um forms of bullying are 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 severe and way more over the top than what you would see in real life like in one scene two 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 gang two um thugs come up to a cop to come up to a cop and threaten to shoot his balls threaten to shoot his balls threaten to shoot his balls before the um try to shoot his balls before the monster comes in attacks and beats the crap out of both of them then um earlier in the film the the bullies who the bullies who bully Melvin Junko they run they they run over a kid they run over a kid and they just delight in torturing the poor Melvin um character even more so than bullies would in real life and um they beat up old ladies they even try to steal Melvin Junko's mother's car like I said it's just an awesome entertaining violent um film well this is my review of um part one. I'm going to review part two in a minute. Oh, and before I go, like I said, the makeup effects were awesome. The makeup effects were awesome. The costume designs the costume designs were pretty good for the monster and the characters. And Melvin Junko's voice was awesome. I'm not familiar with any actors in this film because this is a studio film series I've never heard of, Trauma. I gotta learn more about them, but um, yeah, this was um my very very first review. I'm gonna review the second movie in a minute. All right, dugout.